Hello and welcome to my high gain guitar EQ tutorial. Let's start off by analyzing the guitar track in its raw form. Not bad, but this track would not sit well in a mix in its raw state, so let's start by using EQ in a subtractive manner. I usually start by eliminating unnecessary low end frequencies in the instrument. Since this instrument is tuned to drop B, I will use a low pass filter to remove unwanted frequencies in the low end that will otherwise muddy up our mix if not removed. I will then utilize a high pass filter to remove unnecessary elements from the high end area that would simply add to a much white noise if left unfiltered. Let's take a listen to the filtered track. Once again, here is the raw track for comparison. You might be thinking that the raw track sounds beefier and that it sounds better more robust, but in the context of a mix the raw guitars would compete with the bass, kick drum and other instruments. We are using subtractive EQ to give each instrument its own space, and to be heard clearly within the mix. The next step in bringing out clarity and note definition is to remove frequencies that give the guitar a boxy sound. In my experience with metal guitars, these sabotaging frequencies are usually found around the 400 Hz range. The numbers are not important, the sound is, so just remember to use your ears and sweep the EQ spectrum for boxy frequencies. When boosted, you can hear the exaggerated frequency, which can clearly be defined as boxy. Removing these frequencies is essential for clarity and definition. Now let's find another brutal frequency that has no place in our guitars. Around 700 Hz is where we find our next offender. When this frequency is removed, the guitars will certainly sound more defined and polished. <laughs> Man, that sound is annoying. Remember to sweep the frequency spectrum around the 700 Hz range to find it. One of the most hated frequencies in metal guitars is known as the infamous 4K frequency. Frequencies around 4K are high end ear piercing bastards. If you do not remove these frequencies, your guitars will sound digital, harsh, and just plain shitty. Do yourself a favor and remove these sabotagers from your guitars. Remember that you do not always have to EQ to sweeten guitar tone, so use your ears. If it sounds good then simply leave it alone. Now, after I have subtracted the unpleasant frequencies, I like to use another EQ2 to find frequencies that accentuate the tone, and boost them ever so slightly. I liked what was happening around the 2k range in the guitar, so I boosted it. I also like to brighten the guitar sound a bit, so I boosted just a little bit around the 6k range. I repeat this process for every guitar recorded.
I then send the guitars to an auxiliary input with additional several effects including additional EQ to control overall tone if needed, reverb, and compression. I generally do not compress the life out of the guitars I am mixing. I think that compressing with a low ratio and a gain reduction of around minus 1 to minus 3 decibels is sufficient enough to bring the levels between palm mutes and open strumming to a balance. The most important part about getting awesome tone with high gain guitars is to ensure you have recorded with the quality amp, cabinet, and guitars. The sound should be great from the source. This will make your life a lot easier when fitting them into a busy mix with dozens of instruments and 100 layers of crappy vocal takes. Now then let's hear what these guitars sound like in the mix. fucking standing. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial, and please feel free to check out this song in its entirety. All applicable links in the description below.